This is a Galaxy Dreaming Beauty Tips video. I've shown you how I do lash lifts in the past. This video is particularly about lash lift tips. So these are extra tips that make doing a lash lift much easier. So the first one is glue not keeping the lashes down so they're not staying on the shield. What I suggest is that you wait at least 20 to 30 seconds for the glue to become really tacky. So put the glue onto the shield and then wait 20 to 30 seconds before you actually start pushing the lashes onto the shield. Do be careful about how long you leave the glue though for because if you leave it too long it becomes too tacky and it gets stuck in the lashes. Personally I give it about 10 seconds and then I start pushing the lashes back onto the shield and I just keep pushing and I keep pushing until they finally stick. Because the applicators do not absorb the glue they just keep pushing the lashes back and the glue stays on the shield really well. Once I've pushed the lashes back onto the shield and they're sticking that's when I'll use either the comb, the little wee comb that you get or tweezers or a lash tool that you've had provided in a kit to shift the lashes around. You need to shift the lashes around whilst the glue has not completely set. So you, again you're trying to work, get the lashes back, get them stuck down, then start arranging them so that they are evenly spaced out as best as you can. You really want to avoid lashes crossing over if you can help it. A good tip for trying to figure out the size is to see whether the lashes when you push them back onto the shield without glue touch halfway up the shield. But then it also depends on what the client wants, which direction are their natural lashes facing, are they really downward facing, are they straight out, are they already quite lifted, what is it that the person really wants. Usually I will use small M or ML. I quite like one that is also called M2 and that comes within some kits. What I've discovered though is that when someone's lashes are downward facing and also thick and strong, they don't lift really well with an M or L shield and they look like an M or L shield will work really well, it ends up not lifting them enough because they're so downward facing they won't come up all the way or it just doesn't look like a really impressive look. In my experience, using an M or L did not work well for downward and strong thick lashes. So sometime later, we tried again and I tried with a small shield. This is the shield with the smallest mound on it. So most people, if you did a small shield on them, it's going to look like they're startled. It looks crazy too much. In addition to using the small shield, I used the longest processing times because they were very strong lashes as well. This is the result. I've also had clients that have very long inner lashes and when you push these back on the shield they can end up touching the inner upper eyelid and really annoy them. I try to leave them attached a bit looser. Now if they start pinging off during the processing time uh, I use a little bit of Nitchi Balm tape and I just push them back and I just tape them back loosely so that there's still less of a curl than the rest of the lash lift that I'm doing. For lash lifts, the main tool that I use is Designer Lashes Lint Free Applicators. I constantly use these lint free applicators throughout a lash lift treatment. I use these to push back the lashes onto the shield. I use them to apply and remove solution 1 and solution 2. I use them to apply and remove the tint, to apply and remove the keratin. They make doing the lash lift procedures so much easier. When you apply solution 1 and solution 2, stick to the base of the lashes. Do not apply either of these to the tip. When you think about it, the curl is actually happening where it bends the most, not in the tips. You really don't want to fry and over process the tips of the lashes. They're the thinnest part of the natural lash, so if anywhere is going to become over processed, then this is where it's going to happen and that's where the lash is going to get fried. This is the best lash lift tip I can give you. This will make the biggest difference to your lash lifts. 
I use a small bristle brush to get each solution right into the base of the lashes. This is where the curl and lift is created, so this part is super important. This I can't do with a cotton bud or an applicator. You really need a soft bristle brush to get through into the base of the lashes. And I think since doing this, it's made the biggest difference to my lash lifts. If there was one tip I could share with you today, this would be it. You can apply Glad Wrap or otherwise known as Saran Wrap over the eyelashes to keep the heat in whilst they're processing. I use the lint-free applicators to apply and remove the tint as I do not use water to wash out the tint. So what I do now is I remove as much of the tint as I can using the lint-free applicators, wiping off what I can, putting that excess amount on a tissue that's in my other hand, going back, swiping off more, doing all of that, making sure they're as clean as I can get them in this form, and then going back in with keratin oil. Then with the keratin oil, that's when I start swiping across the lashes again. This is where I find they start releasing off of the shield. And so they start coming off the shield naturally and it starts breaking down the glue. So this is a really good way to avoid water on the lashes at all. This tip is really handy if you have keratin and little sachets and every time you open them they drip everywhere and they're really messy. I suggest to you that you decant them into a little dropper bottle then you can dispense the amount you need each time. This way you don't have to throw away your oily messy half used sachet and you have no product wastage. I only really had a few lash lift tips to share with you, but they were the lash lift tips that really helped change how I was doing lash lifts and the results that I was getting. If this video helped you in some way or another today, hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. I'll see you next time.